Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Come in, let me show you around. So hello, welcome to Badger Workshop. So I'll give you a tour. So I looked at what I did last year and I started at the garage, which is where I store a lot of the things I don't use. I keep all my timber in there and tools I don't use and stuff. But I'm not showing you that this year because I've got a bit of a project that I've been working on for months in there and you'll be seeing that soon. So it's a bit of a secret. So you'll see more of that in a few weeks time. But we'll start over here and work our way around. So in the last year, quite a lot's changed. I'm terrible. I really like to move things around and reorganize. And I'm sure in another year's time, everything will look completely different. So over here, we'll start with what was the same, which is all my chisels on these racks with leather that I made. But what is new is this uh, work surface. So this bench has room to store my little router table, which I'll show you more in a second, the drill press, and I can just dump projects I'm working on, bits for it on here. So what I've got tucked away back here is my main workbench. And one thing I did this year was put it onto casters, which has worked great. Really nice to be able to move it around so it can fit under this shelf at the back. It can fit under that one there and it's really useful. Um, I think for me, being able to move things around is particularly important because the workshop's quite small, but also filming means I can move things into shot, which I suppose for a lot of people is not even a consideration. Underneath the bench, I've got my Axminster Trade pneumatic dust extractor and a cyclone separator. I've got the big vise here and on the end, this vise that I restored as well. On the end of the bench, I've got these brackets and then my little router table can just uh, slip onto there. And that fits my little Makita router. So onto my back wall, I've got one of those little Ikea storage units, uh, some tool chests with a carbon monoxide uh, meter in between them, uh, a little Bisley cabinet, and then we're onto my wood burning stove. So back here, I've got my little Windy Smith wood burning stove. Um, great for getting rid of wood scraps, but also obviously it keeps me nice and warm. I've got one of these little fans on here that helps distribute the heat. And I've got at least one of these little things that helps tell me the temperature of the flue to get the perfect burn. Uh, I've got a rack behind here full of the Stanley cases. Um, if you're interested in some of the stuff I use, there is a link below this video to an Amazon affiliate page with all the tools I use, or a lot of them anyway, so you can look some of this stuff up. So then there's not a great deal on this wall. Got a little thermometer above the window with inside and outside of temperatures. And then we're onto the door, which I have a fire blanket and a fire extinguisher on. So looking back at the other end of the workshop, I've got some more tools that are on mobile bases. So this sand that I've just got is just on, sat on a dolly at the moment. So I think I might move, uh, make a stand for that. Um, so as you can see, they're kind of shoved here. So if I'm working over that end, they're shoved this end and vice versa. Um, you don't kind of see that when I'm filming. I tend to uh, try and move them around before the shots. But so I'll move them over this way and then we can look this end. So sander and Metabo planar thicknesser. So I suppose another thing I should do that I haven't been saying is um, mention some of the tools and if I like them or not. And pretty much at the moment, if I've got them, I like them. There's one thing we'll get around to in a bit that is something I want to upgrade, but there's nothing really wrong with it. Um, this was a new addition this year. This is the Record Power air filter. I said at the time, it's not designed to go on its side. It's supposed to hang from the ceiling, but I haven't got room for that but it seems to work great there. And these filters, it's amazing how much they collect and all that was obviously going in the air before. So really pleased with that. Um, I've been put off getting it because it's so big. Well, not so big, but takes up room. But actually on a shelf on its side against the wall, works fantastic. 
So under it, another thing I did this year was put some clamps on the wall. So this here is pretty much my entire clamp collection. I do have a few longer ones that are in the garage, but I hardly ever use those. So back here, another new machine. Seems to be in a, a bit of a year of new machines and uh, it is not because I'm rich. So this is a great machine. I built a new base for it that has more of the Stanley cases. Uh, obviously on casters, so again, sits in the corner, wheel it out when I need it. So on this back wall, first aid kit, important to have, but hopefully don't use it very often or at all. Uh, my Make Central poster made by Mr. Jimmy DeResta with emergency whiskey supply. Mallet and hammer rack, axes, hand planes, and then what I made this year, the saw till. So here I've got this, uh, bench that's actually bigger than my main workbench but it's in the corner and really just used as an outfeed table so i kind of feel this is an inefficient use of space because it's quite a big surface but i just dump things on it i hardly ever actually stand here and make anything um it is just an outfeed table so uh, i'm probably going to change that a bit under the outfeed table i've got the triton spindle sander which i use all the time and then I've got this dustbin, which I use as a dust separator and tucked in there is the dust extractor. We'll get around to that in a bit. So tall wall, did that this year. Really pleased with that. Um, it's nice to have everything having its own home, easy to grab. It looks cool on the videos, I think. Um, so that was good. Uh, yeah, basic marking, measuring, things I use all the time and PPE. And then down to the Axminster Craft um, 216 millimeter blade table saw. So anyone that's been following me for a while knows I've got a bit of a, an addiction to table saws. Well, that's not true. No, I've just not found one I like until I got this. Um, should have got it years ago or something like this. Um, they're expensive and I was trying to be cheap and buying cheap ones and trying to make it work. But it was a false economy. This is great, pleased with it. The only thing I've done is there was the sliding table on here and I've taken that off and made a wooden extension ring, uh, wing. Nothing wrong with the sliding table, just the size of my workshop. It was just sticking out too much. And what I did was I put the, the, fen sorry, the fence from the sliding table on a mitre gauge and that works pretty well if I stop banging it against the table. Uh, so down here, we've got a Rutland's canister dust extractor. They're pretty cheap. It works pretty well, but that is the one tool that I'm keen to upgrade. It just doesn't have enough power really for the table saw or the planar thicknesser or even the band saw. So I'm looking at getting something bigger. So there we go. I've given you a whole lap of the workshop, shown you everything I think, and I'm pretty happy with it all. Um, really happy with the selection of tools I've got now. As I say, the only thing I might wanna do is upgrade the dust extraction, but all the other things seem to work great. Um, the one thing I might start doing next year is having to reorganize again. As I say, this is, Basically, internal dimensions are around 20 foot by 7 foot. If I was just making things in here, it would be fine. I've got plenty of space this end if I push everything back that way. But I film things, and that's a really limiting factor. In fact, I'll show you what I've got. So I've got that camera monopod stand thing I made, and then shield your eyes big bright light with cables and stands. So as I say, this workshop would be absolutely fine for my needs if it wasn't for the filming. Um, with moving the lights and the tripod around and all the other machines, it can get a bit messy. So I'm thinking of having a reorganize and you'll see that in the new year maybe. Um, 
So yeah, I don't think I've got much else to show or tell you. You'll see what's going on in the, uh, in the garage soon enough. Um, if you want to look at the tools, follow the links below. Thanks for having a look around. Thank you to my patrons and uh, you'll see the changes in the new year.